Hey, I'm Nivisha, your instructor. Can you guess what today's session is about? Let's start. IELTS speaking test is approximately 11 to 14 minutes and it has three parts, namely Part 1, Introduction and Interview Part 2, Individual Talk and Cue Cards Part 3, Long Discussion Today we we'll look at Part 2, that is Individual Talk and Cue Cards Here you select Cue Cards and speak on the topic for at least 2 minutes you can start by making notes on the topic in the locator to one minute preparation time. After the loud time, follow-up questions are asked on the same topic. These cue cards consist three to four questions and is marked on the following four parameters on a range of one to nine. The first one is pronunciation. The examiner will assess sound thinking, intonation, clarity, and individual phonic sounds. The way you pronounce words is important, hence your accent must be clear. The second one is lexical resource. This checks the usage of vocabulary. The examiner will check whether you are able to use a variety of words appropriately. Even paraphrasing is taken into account. Third, grammatical range and accuracy. Sentence construction and its formation will be assessed. Hence, your sentences should not sound forced. And the fourth one is fluency and coherence. This is to determine whether you are able to talk fluently and connect ideas or not. The usage of pronouns, conjunctions, etc. are tested along with the ability to speak for a long period. Hence, it is advisable that you do not memorize responses Write the keywords down and converse using them. Write the vocabulary down. In the paper, divide the topics into introduction, transition word, description and perspective. In the speaking section, practice is the key to gain confidence. And we at Leap Scholar offer 25 plus writing mock tests, study material, doubt solving sessions, one-on-one -on -one speaking practice sessions, 25 full length speaking evaluations and much more at 20% off. Click on the link in the description to enroll now. Moving on, let's look at some common IELTS speaking topics. They are memories, a person you know, presence as in gifts you are given, etc., your routine, food, reading, entertainment, buildings, sports, travel your family, objects, news, and your experiences. Broadly, these are the common topics. Now it's time to look at the probable cue cards for 2023. I have curated a list of top 10 cue cards for you. Number one, a city where you want to live in the future. Number two, a cafe you would like to visit. Number three, a movie you liked. Number four, your favorite politician. Number five, a gadget that is your favorite. Number six, an idol who you looked up to when you were a child. Number seven, explain what would you do if you won a large prize money. Number eight, explain why you admire the certain businessman. Number nine, an advertisement that you remember. And last one, the description of a dream that you wish to come to. Knowing common topics is great because it will help you prepare for the exam in advance. But what's more important is the preparation strategy. So let's figure out a strategy to ace IELTS speaking part 2. As we discussed, you'll be provided with speaking cue cards. And next, you should break down the question into several parts. For instance, you may be asked to describe a decision that changed your life. You should start by explaining what the decision was and if any other choice were available. Further, explain why you took the decision in the first place. Your answer should be something like, a recent decision involved my wish to pursue study abroad. Of course, the four main know it from a family had gone abroad. 
although my parents had hoped that I would join their family business. However, I wanted to pursue marketing in the UK and hence made this choice. I'm very content and confident that this would help me in my career. When I go back to my country, I aim to expand my business with my knowledge. Questions such as these deal with an event of the past. We'll be able to nail this if you use a wide range of tenses, paraphrase the question, avoid the use of terms such as actually, answer to the point and end the answer with a summarizing sentence. Let's look at one more example. Favorite vacation of your life. Here you should first introduce the topic and then write down in the cue cards about the place you took the vacation, when you took it, who went with you on this trip. Then go on and expand each point as needed. You'll be able to aid this strategy if you practice well. You will find our speaking sessions really helpful for this. So don't forget to click on the link in the description and enroll with Lead Scholar at 20% off. That's all for today. Hope you found this session helpful. Let me know in the comment section if you have any doubts and stay tuned for the next session. Happy learning!